Hi, my name is Bob Shoup. I'm one of the instructors here at Subsurface Consultants and Associates, and we're here today to talk a little bit about the course Plastic Reservoirs, Interpretation and Prediction. When we work with the subsurface, we have very limited data sets, so we rarely have the entire picture. So the key to understanding and interpreting depositional environments in the subsurface is to have a good understanding of the depositional patterns. So to interpret the data, we have to have a preconception of what it is we're interpreting. Periodically, you want to check that preconception against the data. So to start with, you have to ask yourself, where in the world was your reservoir? Was it inland, or was it coastal, or was it marine? Because that will determine the depositional system that you're interpreting. Then you want to look at modifying factors such as climate. Was it a glacial, a temperate, or a tropical climate? Was I, was I in an active tectonic basin? Because these will then modify the depositional processes. Because we're looking at subsurface data, we're going to boil our depositional patterns down to two. The patterns associated with delivery systems and the pattern associated with dispersal systems. Delivery systems are elongate to linear and include all of the rivers that transport sediment from their hinterland to the basin. Dispersal systems are all lobate to fan shaped and these are the systems that form when the delivery systems reach a basin or a delivery point. The nice thing about this classification is the geometry of these systems is similar irregardless of the depositional setting. So I can look at delivery systems that are subaqueous and or subaerial and they will have the same pattern. The same is true with dispersal systems. Alluvial fan systems which are deposited subaerially look just like submarine fan systems which are deposited subaqueously. The other interesting phenomenon is the geometry of the systems are fractal. That means they're the same at large scale and at small scale. So I can look at the Mississippi River Delta, which is a large scale feature, and see within it crevasse splays that are exactly the same geometries of the larger delta. Because the geometry of the systems are similar, irregardless of the depositional setting or the scale, the patterns within the system are also similar, and therefore they are predictable. So we'll look first at delivery systems. These are elongate to linear systems that transport sediment from provenance to basin. And there are four types of delivery systems. We have braided rivers, meandering rivers, anastomosing rivers, and then incised valleys. Looking at dispersal systems, Again, those are lobate to fan-shaped systems that disperse sediments arriving in the basin. And there are three types of dispersal systems. We have deltas, alluvial fans, and submarine fans. These depositional packers patterns also give us a pattern in the stacking system. So delivery systems, we see predominantly fining upward sequences. And with dispersal systems, we see predominantly coarsening upward sequence.